Hello everyone, in this tutorial what I'm going to do is give you a really quick basic introduction to the PHP language and I'm not going to go over everything there is to know about the PHP language but I feel if you want to learn how to code PHP there are several components to PHP that you should be aware of. So let's just go ahead and get started here, it's not going to take too long. So first of all, what is PHP? If someone walks up to you and asks, hey what is PHP, what does it stand for? Well, you should be able to respond with, well, PHP is a hypertext preprocessor. So they're going to pretty much think you're pretty smart to you know what you're talking about. So it also is a syntax that is borrowed from several languages such as Java, C, and Perl. So if you have any type of experience with those languages, learning PHP is going to be a breeze. And it's also a server-side scripting language. So that means that the scripts in PHP are executed on a server. Now, it also supports many databases, one of which we'll be using in the future, which is MySQL. And it's an open source software, so it's free. It's free to download and to use. And best of all, it allows web developers to program dynamically generated web pages fairly quickly. So what are PHP files? Well, I kind of went over this a little bit in my previous tutorials explaining how to create a local server on a PC and a Mac. But I only use the .php extension, but there are several others such as .php3 or .phtml. And that PHP file or files can contain scripts, HTML tags, and text. So as we know, PHP is a server-side scripting language, right? So when the server sees this PHP file that we have created, when it sees these delimiters, it looks into this file or it looks in this block of PHP code and it sees this echo, this echo statement. And it knows from a set of rules already programmed somewhere that we don't really care about. It knows that when it sees this echo, it needs to send some data to the browser to display this data to the user or the visitors. So when it sends this data to the browser, the only thing that the browser even sees is hello, Robert. It only sees that plain HTML. So that's just something to keep in mind. So why even use PHP? Why is it special? What is the whole big deal about PHP? Well, first of all, it's a fairly easy language to learn. If you already have any experience with high level languages such as C or C++ or Java or Perl, it's going to be a breeze to learn this language. And there are also many job opportunities out there for PHP programmers. I remember at my last job being in the software department, there were several people there that were just hired because of their PHP background. So it doesn't even end there. There are also freelancers who look for companies who are looking for certain scripts to be made. So it really has a, a lot of benefits of knowing this language and being able to tie it in with other languages such as MySQL and et cetera, et cetera. And in a way, moving on, it also runs on different platforms such as Windows, Linux, and Unix. And it's great for creating large websites because it takes less time to create. And for PHP programmers, you can create a wide variety of customized tools for your visitors. So if your visitors are asking for a specific tool that no other PHP programmer has created yet, you can go ahead and create that. And who's to say other people or other web developers may need the tool that you created and you could possibly sell your PHP script. So there's lots of reasons to learn PHP, especially if you are a serious web master or online web developer. So it's lots of opportunities out there. Definitely look out for them. So let's go ahead and continue here. So what else is there to know about PHP or what else should I know before I continue learning about PHP? Well, first of all, you need to know a little bit about HTML. You need to know the syntax for HTML. So I've put together here a quick little example. If you know exactly what would be displayed here, if we were to copy and paste this into a document, what will happen when I go to this page? then you're doing okay. But if you don't, if you're confused, you don't know what in the world is going on here, I have placed a few links on my web page at www.thephpbasics.com where you can get a good idea of the, the HTML syntax. Just know some of the basics. You don't have to be an expert, but do 
know a little bit about it because I'm going to be using some of the HTML in my future tutorials for PHP. So in a way that does conclude this tutorial. These are just some of the basic things that I believe that you should know about PHP if you want to learn about PHP, but there are other things to learn. So don't just go on this video and think, you know, oh, I know everything about PHP now, but hopefully you have a good foundation now and I will definitely see you in the next video and we'll start actually doing some coding.